quarter past seven. Okay, I think I've got ten minutes to pump. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Uh -huh. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kapana Shimange and this is how I do things. The show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now you can use it, don't use it. It's all up to you. It's your life, honey. You can do whatever it is that you want to do with it. No pressure. All right, so if you want to send me your questions or suggestions on what I should talk about next, head over to Instagram and follow me at Kapana Shimange and look for this picture right here. And leave me your question or comment on what you want to hear in my next episode and maybe if it's juicy, if it's good, then maybe I'll do a video about it. Okay, so today it's all about my pregnancy. I loved being pregnant. It was such an amazing experience. And I think I'll definitely do it again. As many as Jesus wants for me, I'm just like, send me a baby. I shall house her in my body. I am serious. I loved being pregnant. And I know every single pregnancy is different. And you may experience it differently. And it might not always be good. I know my first trimester, I was just like, Ugh. I slept for half the day. All right, I literally did every single day without fail. I tried to shower, shower it off. I was just like, shake off the heebie jeebies. I couldn't. I just needed to sleep. But listen. There were some things that I did during my pregnancy that really, really helped me. And I had a question from a lady who's just like, how was the experience of being pregnant and how can I make sure I enjoy it as much as I possibly can? So here are 10 things that you can do to enjoy your pregnancy. Number one, time. Now this is something that I do personally and I am blessed to have this since I was a little girl. I was like, mama, I wanna be pregnant, I wanna be a millionaire and work from home. I told my friends all of this at school and they used to laugh at me and be like, oh, there's no way that you're going to be a millionaire and be a mama and work from home. That's a dream, girl. Well, look who's laughing now. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, so what I wanted since I was young was to make money and be a mom and do it from home. And that's something that I have managed to do. I live and work from the same place, which meant that I had the flexibility of time to decide when I work. Now, there are some women who actually can do this as well. The way that the world is working, you can work remotely. And if you can swing that, do it. Because honey, I tell you right now, my first trimester was just wake up feel sick try to work can't do it pass out that's literally what i did and then i'd wake up in the afternoon and i'd be able to work nicely after that it wasn't great second trimester you're just like yes where the party at where the party at i got energy right so if you have flexibility of time it really does help you to enjoy your pregnancy way more than you would if you had to stay within strict bounds of when to work and not to work Number two is eating healthy. Eating healthy gives you a whole lot of energy. It helps you to actually do so much in your life. And I love cooking. So what I did during pregnancy is that I cooked exactly what I wanted to taste. If I had a certain taste in my head or in my tongue and I was just like, I feel like having sweet chicken. I'd make sweet chicken. My number one obsession during pregnancy. And remember, I was vegetarian. I'm vegetarian again now, but during pregnancy, all I wanted was every single piece of a chicken. I wanted chicken livers, I wanted chicken wings. All, I had them literally every single day. So I, I loved sweet chicken and peri peri chicken and whatever type of chicken it was. I cooked what I wanted to eat. Listen, pregnant women does like to consume the food. Let them eat. And knowing what you want to taste and then getting into the kitchen and making it happen, Oh, that will make your pregnancy so much better. Just eating what you want to eat and making sure that you make it in your own healthy way. Number three is something that I get a lot of questions about and that is exercising. I exercised more during pregnancy than I exercise right now. And I exercise almost every single day. In pregnancy, daily babe, I was there in my gym stuff with my preggy butt belly just exercising. I loved it. When I started out, I started in the second trimester because the first was a mess. The second trimester, that's when I started to exercise. And every single time I exercised, it made sleep better. Pregnancy is uncomfortable. 
okay and sleeping with this thing is uncomfortable you just got this thing it's uncomfortable right you can't sleep the way you normally sleep and you've got this thing that you're scared you're going to crash right so having this thing and then exercising actually helps you to pass out dead in your sleep at night other than the 200 million times you have to pee at night in between you're out it depletes your energy in such a good way it gives you energy for throughout the day and when it comes to the night time you just pass out exercising i got addicted to exercising during pregnancy pregnancy and the way that i made sure that it was still safe for me and was still good for me is that i exercised before pregnancy and i wanted to continue during pregnancy so what i did is i got an app called baby to body right this app helped me to exercise and do what was appropriate for that specific time of my pregnancy it is an app specifically made for prenatal and postnatal ladies who are one who want to exercise while they're pregnant and exercise after they're pregnant so you build this 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 stamina during your pregnancy exercises and the lady who speaks about it is she's so experienced and the exercises are guided and i loved this app you do have to pay for it but i think it's completely worth it investing yourself to exercise and making sure that the exercises are right for you at the stage of pregnancy that you are at is the best thing that you can do for yourself don't just do any old exercises remember Remember, there's a certain range that you need to stay away from and making sure that you stick to something that is specifically meant for ladies who are pregnant it's a nice and safe way to make sure that you can still stay active but be safe with the pregnancy number four is i laughed a lot i i was a giggle piggy just giggle 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 <laughs> everything i was i laughed i laughed a lot during pregnancy sometimes i actually did it on purpose your hormones are all over the place your dreams are all over the place i stayed away from horror movies i stayed away from thrillers anything where my imagination could go wild i mean i dreamt of like being kid kidnapped by warthogs by pumba I, oh the dreams are just stupid you dream of the stupidest things the smallest things i watched planet of the apes and it was over for me and monkeys for pregnancy i was like Ay! Woo! literally so you want to try and laugh as much as you possibly can good thoughts good feelings be happy and now i've got a giggle bunny of a baby because i think i giggled so much during my pregnancy so i'd, I'd watch comedy shows i'd watch any show that was happy making sure i always keep a healthy and happy environment so make sure you laugh as much as you possibly can and it will make you a happy preggy lady and on top of that i think it actually has something to do with having a happy baby too don't know doesn't number five was that i forgave myself look i gained 20 kgs during my pregnancy it doesn't help that i actually lost a lot of weight before my wedding because of stress i literally gained 20 kgs a lot of people don't believe me about this but i literally did and the normalish averages rate is about like 12 but i gained 20. so at the beginning i was 40 something and at the end i was 60 something i literally gained 20 kgs in my pregnancy and i forgave myself i knew that it was happening because my tops some of my tops that used to go on my long sleeve tops would stop here because my arms got big i gained weight evenly and i think some of the exercise helped with that my thighs got huge a lot of my things didn't fit and i'm not talking about my stomach and i'm not talking about my hips i'm talking about tops used to stop here they wouldn't go past this place my arms got bigger the pictures that i have towards the end of my preg pregnancy which didn't go on instagram they showed that this girl actually did gain weight i, I got a boot i was born with a flat ass i had a booty during pregnancy right and i exercise now so some of that has gone quite down these pants themselves they were tight around my thighs i wore my man's jeans not because of the waist buttoning but because my thighs just got so big that i couldn't actually fit into my normal jeans at all like never mind the buttoning just the rope babe so i forgave myself because i knew that i'm pregnant i'm eating healthy and i'm exercising healthy but i need to forgive myself because i am creating a universe in my stomach and i don't give a crap about everything else Right, so staying he healthy, staying happy, making my relationship, making sure my relationship was good, I forgave myself for everything else. Number six is that you want to release the pressure. Babies are expensive, yes, but you don't want to put so much pressure on yourself to make as much money. And you know, a lot of women are just like, I need to make sure I get all my work done. I need to make sure I do this. Uh, no. What you want to do is 
try and put things into the second trimester. The first trimester, we are going to call that sick. Sick three months. That's you're just sick. Whether you're puking or you're not puking, you just feel sick. Like you're just like this the whole time. It's just a home night. It's just not nice in the first trimester, right? Then in the second trimester, you are superwoman. Dun, 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 dun. Literally, you're just like this the whole time. Woman of steel. That's what you are in the second trimester. You get things done. Your energy is high. You can get so much stuff done. So you want to try and get all of the hard labor, all of the long hours, or whatever it is in the second trimester. You literally have energy. You're going. You're creative. Oh, everything is just working. Your hair is flourishing. Second trimester is Oh, I love the second trimester. Then comes the third. You really try. I was just like, I'm going to work until the last day. I could not sit in my office chair for more than two hours. I couldn't. In total, I couldn't. I needed to sleep majority of the time. That person was heavy. Okay, I gave birth to it. That baby came out quite big. Okay, she came out a substantial size. So I was just tired. I literally slept. I had my morning nap. I had my afternoon nap, I had my nighttime nap, and then I had my night sleep. It was a lot. So try and relieve the pressure. S speak to your man about the pressure. Don't pressurize yourself to get so much done during your pregnancy. You're, it creates so much stress for you. Release the pressure. Try and put all of the hard work and all of the, most of the work in a second trimester. And once that second trimester is over, know that you are slowing all the way down until the end. Number seven was faith. Literally praying and knowing that everything will be okay. Me and my devotionals were like this. Version was my favorite app. Knowing that I have faith that guys, it will actually end up well. No matter what will happen, I will never be in a situation that I can never handle. So I had faith that the pregnancy will go well. I had faith that we will be taken care of. And that is the thing that literally kept me having peace of mind. Like I say, pregnancy gives you the most creative imagination in the world. You literally think that there's a boulder that's going to fly out of the earth and squash you. Have faith. It's fine. It will work out. Number eight is support. Find you a girlfriend, somebody who's had a baby before that can support you. My sister called me every week to check up on me, sometimes twice a week to check up on me. Literally just to say, how is it going? How is it? And she literally put my mind at ease. You need a preggy buddy. Whether it's somebody who is pregnant with you, who can talk to you about things and you can go through things together, or somebody who's been through it before. Someone who can put your mind at ease about all the things that you're going through. Because you're going to need it. Because you're going through this for the first time, or maybe even if it isn't your first time, having someone to release to who is a woman who's either going through it with you or has done it before will make you feel less crazy. And I loved having my sister. If you don't have somebody, nominate someone and tell them and be honest with them and say, listen, sis, I need you to call me weekly or can I call you weekly just to check in with each other. I mean, girl, who are WhatsApp? So it's fine. You guys don't have to spend airtime. You can spend data, right? Get to a Wi-Fi zone, talk to each other, make sure that you release. The release really helps you to be a happier person during pregnancy. Number nine, and you will thank me for this one. Like I said, you're gonna gain some booty, you're gonna gain some thighs. Now what you want to do is not stress about those things. And if you're going to be wearing things that are tight, things that don't stretch, then you're going to stress yourself. And I told you, you do not want to stress yourself. So what you are going to want to do, my honey, my love, my darling, is get you some leggings. These are your friend. These, they stretch. As you stretch, they stretch. As you get bigger, they get bigger, they support you. They are always there for you. They're just like, whether you are here or whether you're here, I'm here to support all of you. Every single bit of you, I shall cling on to you and make you look delicious, no matter what. And that's what you need. I started wearing leggings, right? From, I think, second trimester, I was just everyday leggings. And here is the plug. Here's the plug of the day. Woolworths, leggings, different colors, same shape, stretch, no matter what, they shall stretch with you and stretch. They'll even stretch back with you. 180 bucks. I, I kid you not. Now you want leggings that are going to stay with you and not be see-through. You know there's that thin line. That thin line between legging and listocking. 
the stocking you will see somebody's bendy through the thing you'll be like so stocking is not it's not a legging it's not pants it's illegal i get so distressed my mother says that panty lines are childish it is childish to wear leggings that are actually so thin they should be classified as stockings don't do that thing do please don't do that thing you want to get yourself leggings that are going to stretch with you without looking see-through and i found that the ones at woolies allow you to do that right and i think you can forgive forgive a pregnant woman for panty line i mean she's especially towards the end there's juices so you ah, guys get yourself some leggings you just save yourself some stress that's it and number 10 my number 10 that made me very happy during pregnancy and something that i think you should definitely get yourself is some support my biggest support it was my family it was my friends but my number one biggest support was my husband i cried during pregnancy i hate crying people who know me know that i hate crying like i don't think you'll ever see me crying in any situation it takes, it takes quite a bit for me to cry i need to have permission to cry right and it took me a while to cry during pregnancy i kept on hearing about ladies get crying and i was like i can't cry no we're not doing that i cried right i i cried during pregnancy and i cried to my husband and i told him what he was doing wrong you become sensitive you try to not do it during pregnancy but you do you either become an angry person or a happy person or a sensitive it's just you become a new person these hormones just do something stupid you just become this other person right and i cried to my husband and the number one thing that i didn't do for him was frustrate him by telling him, you make me do this and you're so mean no i learned and i learned this on a church camp it was that if you want to tell somebody about the way they make you feel don't tell them that you're mean to me you're making me cry you want to try and turn that around and say that this is how you make me feel when you do this or when you do this it makes me feel like this right that is the best sentence i've learned in my life when you don't listen to me you make me feel sad right so that he knows what he's doing and what it's causing it really does help the marriage and it really does help your pregnancy he allowed me to cry there were days where i just came out and just like i just want to cry don't fix it i just want to cry and he allowed me to do that and that was the best thing that i could do for, for myself so get yourself some support and a cry buddy look mama your pregnancy should be the best time of your life you can't always control how you're going to look while you're pregnant your body's going to change in whatever way it needs to change to carry this universe that you have in your stomach and i promise you you're going to meet the love of your life when it's all done now you can't really control how your hormones are going to be but you can try and create a good environment for yourself it's nice to be pregnant you know having that baby but you want to have some fun so here are just the 10 things that i have done that made me have the best pregnancy i could ever have and i hope that those 10 things help you too once upon a time i was a very shy girl I don't know how to make the best of the situations I was in. I would always feel like I needed more confidence to know what to say, when to say it, and how to say it. Learning how to boost your confidence can genuinely change your life. If you want some tips on how you can boost your confidence, then head over to kopanoshimange.com and download my ebook on boosting your confidence.